Philippine transport groups launched a nationwide strike Monday to protest against a government program that drivers fear would phase out traditional jeepneys, which have become a cultural icon, and other aging public transport vehicles. Officials, however, braced with contingencies, including the deployment of government vehicles to take stranded passengers. Other groups refused to join the week-long strike that could keep more than 40,000 passenger jeepneys and vans off the streets in the Manila metropolis alone. Protesting drivers and supporters held a noisy rally in suburban Quezon City in capital region before proceeding in a convoy to a government transport regulatory office to press the protest. Meanwhile, transport officials warned that protesting drivers who would resort to violence and coercion to stop passenger vehicles not part of the strike would face criminal charges. A cross made from pieces of wood from shipwreck off Italy's Calabrian coast in which at least 71 people died was at the head of a procession organized Sunday in remembrance of the victims. At least hundreds of people took part in the march in the small Italian beach town of Staccato di Cutro. The cross made by artist Maurizio Giglio on behalf of Don Francesco Loprete, pastor of a local parish, opened the procession, which was also attended by the Archbishop of Crotone, Monsignor Angelo Raffaele Panzetta, and the Imam of the Kutro Mosque, Mustafa Achik. The boat that set sail from the Turkish port of Izmir was carrying people from Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, and other countries who were seeking a better quality of life in Europe. It broke apart in rough waters in the Ionian Sea of Calabria before dawn last Sunday.